So what happened that led two pilots to eject from their jets, missing for hours after the crash? Good afternoon, I'm Richard Rogers. And I'm Christy Etheridge. Those are just two of the questions in this investigation. We have team coverage this afternoon. Liz Owens is in Jefferson County right now. Preston Willett is at McIntyre Joint National Guard Base in Eastover, South Carolina, where those pilots were based. First of all, to you, Liz, what can you tell us about where the investigation stands right now? Well, the Air National Guard is giving big kudos to the Georgia State Patrol, and that's because the pilots located not one, but both of the down jets in less than 24 hours. Now, behind me, you can see a team is still processing the first crash site, and down the road, there is a second team now processing that site. GSP spotted the first jet early this morning after residents tipped them off to debris in the area. They saw the second wreckage from the air about three this afternoon. Investigators are currently processing both scenes right Right now, which involve measurements, pictures, and securing hazardous material. Well, the, the main wreckage is in uh, a couple hundred square yard area, but um, there's wreckage spread around. We're finding pieces three miles away right now um, already and have sent teams out. Now, the Air Force should arrive within the next two days, and they will take over the investigation. Typically, an investigation like this takes about 30 days. Now, the military has mentioned some folks finding the debris, picking it up, actually bringing it to them. Don't do that. Some of it is very dangerous. You just need to call law enforcement. For now, we're live in Jefferson County. Liz Owens, on your side. Good advice there, Liz. And I know it's just getting started, but how long do you think it'll take before they have a cause for this crash? Um... Richard, I can't tell if you answer, uh, asked me a question or not. I'm getting some bad feedback. I know I it's kind of noisy on your end. Can you hear me better now? Oh, I can. We're right, wondering go ahead how long it might take ask... before we know the results, uh, a cause for this crash. Um, probably about 30 days. Right now, they're not giving uh, a reason. They're not too sure, but the typical investigation takes about 30 days, sometimes up to 45 days. Liz, thanks so much for the live update there along the highway. It took some time to pinpoint the exact location of both F-16s, but one reason investigators say is the GPS devices are actually ejected with the pilots, so the fighter jets themselves are harder to track down.